Russ gave you good advice, monkey. Always let the lady finish first. <laughs> Remember that when we afterwards, okay? I'm so happy to be back, everybody. Oh! Uh, a lot of things have changed, like the hug thing wasn't happening before. Uh, and when I, I thought it was the line of the bathroom. Uh, and I've been drinking pediatricians like a gold digger. So uh, the last thing I needed was a hug. But thanks anyway, I peed myself a little. All right. So uh, are you guys excited about the new Twilight movie? No! Oh, come on, it's in 3D, come on. Yeah, when you wear glasses, you love to watch movies with more glasses on front, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But don't worry, fans, I, I, it's in 3D, but the characters are still one-dimensional, so. That's right, fuck Bella Swan. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that we all... Uh, Agreed to take a shit on Twilight tonight makes me happy. I really did read it, because I believe that if you're going to, you know, talk bad about something on stage, you should at least know what you're talking about, right? I know Twilight sucks, because I read it. Uh, I know I'm not Catholic, because I was Catholic for a year, and it didn't work out, obviously. Uh, I ate a fish taco one time, and I hated it, so I know I'm not a lesbian. This is my kind of crown. <laughs> Did the band moan? <laughs> the band's against me. Do you have a trombone sound? That would be awesome. Oh, yes. I'm going to pay you to follow me around. That's amazing. How big is that keyboard? <laughs> Takes a hell of a long time to get to London in a rowboat, though. That's all I'm saying, okay? All right. I've been, uh, I hate my job, so I've been going on a lot of interviews. Yeah, it's not fun. Like you sit there and you're uncomfortable and you're hot and you're itchy because my Starfleet uniform is. And uh, they say dress for the job you want and I want to be captain. All right. I get into there and uh, they're asking me a bunch of questions like, where do you see yourself in five years? And I'm like, I don't know about five years, but my 10-year mission is to seek out new life and civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. They asked me my greatest accomplishment. I said, I went back to the 20th century and saved the humpback whales. That was pretty cool. What's your greatest weakness? Gone. He wasn't liking me though, he wasn't digging me, so I thought maybe he was a Star Wars fan, so I said, this is the employee you're looking for. <laughs> Turns out he wasn't a fan of that either, that George Lucas. <laughs> he sold it to Disney, Disney. Broke my heart. I'm looking for a new job because I work for my mom um, and she's a landlord. So that means I wasn't so much born as evicted. Yeah, yeah, it ruined my credit forever. And I didn't do all the damage down there, okay? Maybe she should think about changing the carpet. I ruined it for the next tenant. That was jeans, my brother's just fucked up. I had nothing to do with that. My brother works for my mom, too. I actually had the job my, job my brother had, but he got fired. It's understandable, though, because it was like 25, 30 whole steps down the hallway. Yeah, he couldn't make it to work on time across the hallway. He's an idiot. Yeah, but it's great that we both work together. It's just like high school all over again. Like, no matter what I do wrong, he's fucked up worse, you know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Megan, you got to see in calculus, uh, J failed three classes. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh, Megan, these checks are wrong. Jay's embezzling thousands of dollars. Yes. <laughs> I'm off the hook again. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Let's talk about my husband, because he didn't fucking come here tonight. Aww, don't aw. He's married to all this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> His parents are married, so... He's just lucky. Um, 
But uh, I had a nightmare the other night, actually. Um, I was dreaming that Gerard Butler was naked in my bedroom, laying on my bed. <laughs> and he goes, come here, Megan. I can't do a Scottish accent. Come here, Megan. And I'm like, I'm married. And then I woke up and saw my husband. I was like, damn it. <laughs> that was my chance. <laughs> I ruined it. I can't even do score in my dreams. That's how big of a nerd I am. Aww. And needless to say, my husband and I are in marriage counseling right now. Aw, he says it's because I beat him and because I cheat. I think he should just get better at Halo. <laughs> he hates it when I teabag him. <laughs> Turnarounds, fair play is what I always say. <laughs> Wake up with balls in your forehead one time, I shoot you, is my policy. We're trying to spice up our sex life, so we're trying out some role playing. Um, he plays a fighter, I play a monk. We do it on the tabletop, baby. <laughs> Family that games together stays together. And now we both don't care if we have sex, so I, I guess that's working out for us. He's an English major, and he's always trying to get me to better myself through literature. And he had me start with Moby Dick, which, yeah, I know, the great American novel, my ass. It's just like the name, long and hard and boring, not interesting. If there's a Starbucks in the second chapter, that's a warning. That's how I feel about that. How many of you went to English class in 10th grade? Come on, people. I, I really did try to read it, though. I went and got the book on tape, and I thought it was read by uh, Sir Patrick Stewart, right? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. If Captain Picard says it, I'm going to listen to it. But halfway through, even he said, fuck it, and the rest was ju just Led Zeppelin lyrics. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty awesome. Let's smoke some pot and listen to, listen to Moby Dick on tape. Um, <laughs> uh, I have a lot of guy friends. I hang out with a lot of guys. And I love it, because they do things that girls would never do. Like, they play this game where they punch each other in the nuts, and, yeah, and they call it cock knock. Because there's nothing funnier than blood in your urine stream, apparently. Like, girls would never do that, right, ma'am? Girls would never play cock knock, right? No. Girls play clam slam. And I suck at that game because I'm a pussy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, guys, this is my last one. I'll bring Russ back up to the stage. Um, are you... Oh, Russ left. It's my show now, bitches! No. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, thank you. I immediately regret this dec decision. <laughs> Is that for the monkey sex afterwards? <laughs> uh, I used to work at Starbucks, which is the job I, I actually like doing because um, I worked in the drive-thru and you saw all kinds of interesting things because what most people don't realize is that there is a camera and we can see into your car, nose pickers, <laughs> ass scratchers, wife beaters, whatever you do in there, we see it. <laughs> so one morning, it's 5.30 in the morning, we just open, like we haven't had a customer yet. And I hear the little bing that says, tells me someone's there and I turn to look in the monitor and I'm like, how can I help you? And there is a, guy, a chick giving a guy a blow job. <laughs> And it wasn't impressive, no. <laughs> Russ was giving a guy a blowjob, no. <laughs> I know it's expensive, baby, but come on. This is not In-N-Out Burger, this is classy. <laughs> the best part of Wake It Up is a blowjob in your truck, apparently. Talk about morning breath, right? <laughs> So 
they pull up to the window. I guess he finishes. <laughs> and they pull up to the window. Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes, baby. <laughs> so he pulls up to the window. And I'm trying not to make eye contact with this guy, right? Like, I want nothing to... I'm ready for these customers to go. And he reaches his hand out the window like he has money. So I reach out to grab it. But there's nothing there. <laughs> so we're just kind of holding hands through the drive through window. <laughs> And I freak out. I don't know what to do, right? So I just look at him and I go, so, uh, do you come here often? <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. I'm Megan Mayo. Let's bring Russ back up to the stage.